The Message Center is where all your voicemails, chat messages, and voicemail options are stored. To access the Message Center, click the Message icon on the top of your screen. This will take you to the Voicemail tab. On the top, you will see a new message indicator showing how many new voicemail messages your account has. Underneath the tab selection, you will see a drop down to display new voicemails, saved messages, or voicemails that have been placed in the trash. On the new page, you are able to see all of your voicemails. All of your voicemails will display the caller ID, date, time, and duration. You will also see the options to play the messages right from your web browser. Hey, this is Frank. I just got those plans you sent over. The click call to play will have the system call your extension and play the voicemail. You can forward the voicemail to another extension or download the voicemail to your computer or save the voicemail in your account and finally delete. On the chat tab, you will see all your chat conversations. The message is displayed with the contact's name, the last message received or sent, and the time and date of that message, along with the option to reply to the message. On the reply page, you can call the contact by clicking the phone icon next to them. The gear icon allows you to turn off notifications from this user and delete your conversation. You can also delete your conversation by clicking the delete icon next to the reply icon. To start chatting with someone, click the new conversation button. Start typing the contact's name or press the down arrow key on your keyboard to list all your contacts or by finding the person in the contacts window and selecting the message icon next to their name. The settings tab is where you can make changes to how your account handles voicemail messages, greetings, your recorded name used in the company directory, and email notifications. You can enable or disable the voicemail by clicking the checkbox next to the enable voicemail option. A checkbox means the voicemail is enabled and an unchecked box means the voicemail has been disabled. Below that you will see the inbox options. These options are used for when you call into your account voicemail. If you would like to hear the last voicemail left first when checking voicemail, enable sort voicemail inbox by latest first. If you would like to hear the time the message was left, enable announce voicemail receive time. If you would like to hear the call ID, enable announce incoming call ID. Under the voicemail inbox options, you will see the greeting section which contains your voicemail greeting and your recorded name used in the company directory. Clicking the Manage icon next to the option will take you to the Manage Greeting page. Here you can upload a new voicemail greeting by selecting a file from your computer or record a greeting by calling either at a local extension or a phone number. Name the file then click the call button. The system will then call you at the number entered and you will be able to record your greeting. You can then select which greeting is enabled simply by clicking on the drop down menu and selecting the greeting you would like to play. When someone 
calls into your extension. Underneath the voicemail greeting option is the recorded name option. This is the file that will be played when somebody selects your extension through the company directory. You can upload a file, just like we could with our voicemail greeting option, or we can have the system call us. Under the greetings, you will see the unified messaging option, which will allow you to manage your email notifications. If you would like to receive an email notification, change the option from none to the email notification setting you would like.